Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have some fun stuff lined up. We're gonna be starting a project. Now, it's not gonna be one of these mini bikes. We're actually gonna do a full-sized dirt bike conversion. So this is a 125, so it's small, but it's great. It's lightweight. Um, I got this rolling chassis off a of marketplace delivered to my house for 150 bucks can't beat that deal uh, everything works so pretty much I just need the brakes to work and the suspension to work and to have good uh, true tires and rims and that is the case everything gas like this dirty yucky carburetor and all this fuel stuff look at this just falling apart we're gonna rip all that off and we're gonna put a QS120 with the V3 gear reduction. So this should just be uh, ready to go with the sprocket sizes. We might have to tweak a little bit, but then I love this bike because it does not have a belly part of the frame. So we'll be able to make a custom battery box uh, pretty much any size we want. Uh, but that's what we're gonna do today on Tackle That. Okay, we have all the stuff we need to take off. Off. I turned it into three piles. This is the stuff we're gonna be keeping. Uh, I think we'll be painting all this stuff. Uh, we got all of our nuts and bolts. This is our clutch. We won't need a clutch on this, but um, I'll keep it for later. And this is all stuff we can throw away. Airbox, old chain, uh, the electronics for your spark plug, carburetor, chain guard I wish we can keep but it's really bent so we gotta get a new one of those. Old ignition, switch, grips, um, throttle, mechanical throttle. So all that's gonna go in the trash and what we're left with is a nice rolling chassis. All right, let's take a look at all the stuff we are going to bolt onto this to make it work. All right, starting out with our grips and our throttle. This also has a voltmeter on it and a key switch to turn it on and off. It comes with a programming cable in case we want to change settings in the controller. This is a 72 volt to 12 volts so we can power up things like headlights brake lights or anything else on 12 volt we've got our wiring harnesses connections for the other side of the harness when we make our own wires and this is our controller that's a Votol EM100 um, not crazy crazy powerful but I think for this little pit bike it's going to be perfect i'm not trying to go 80 miles an hour uh, through the trails i just really want to be able to go maybe from zero to 40 pretty quickly so you can feel that power of that electric motor and speaking of motors this is the uh, 120 v3 so it's got the gear reduction built in uh, i already ordered the sprocket and i ordered the battery those two haven't come in yet but this thing is going to be great it's not the biggest one they make but like i said for what i'm trying to do in the woods i got a great deal on ebay 
for this and uh, I just couldn't pass it up. So this is what we are gonna be using to replace all those gas components. Electric is a lot more simple and uh, a lot cleaner. You know, I just hate cleaning carburetors after you don't use them for a few months and uh, you no longer have to do that. So super excited to get this bolted up. Let's do it. First thing we're gonna mount on here is our grips. Let's got a little set screw here. We don't want that to interfere with our brake. I want that to be kind of straight. good for now we can always adjust that later the cool thing is we didn't have a clutch or a brake here because we have a foot brake now that has all that um, and that has the kill switch so yeah this side's not gonna have much going on but you know what I will put over here is my cell phone holder so we'll do it the old-fashioned way wires down all right let's speed this up We've got everything that we won't need stripped off and we've started to install the new components like the throttle grip um, and that's about it for now we took the motor and put it in there just for placement but I don't have a sprocket yet that will be here tomorrow so I can't really mount anything without knowing how high that sprocket will sit but Everything's looking good. We cut off a few tabs and we will, this was right here, and we'll use that for the motor mounts over here. Weld those on, a bunch of spare parts. And this plate, I think I'm gonna flatten out and kind of use as a, a skid plate slash holder for the battery, so. That'll work out nicely. All right, so we're gonna wrap this video up with that. Hopefully we'll have all the parts, we'll get things bolted up, welded up, and uh, we'll be hitting the trails in no time. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you like this video, you wanna see more like this, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out with that YouTube algorithm. So, later guys.